let's give it up for sales guru and cutting edge researcher, Ted McKenna. You guys ready to be jolted? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, really excited to be with you all here today. Uh, my name is Ted McKenna. Uh, I am a co-founder of a company called DCM Insights, a research company. So we ran a predictive model uh, using outcomes, like did that sale end up closing or not? And again, in total, more than 8,000 different variables uh, within the predictive model. Now that allowed us to kind of boil up that ocean to figure out of all of those things, what actually matters? What types of things really move the dial with respect to performance? Now one of the first things we found in our study, and this is the good news, is that while indecision is a big problem, it's also solvable. So on average, in our study, we found 40 to 60% of deals lost to no decision. What causes anyone to go through a whole entire decision process to suck up our time, their time, lots of resources, only to choose to do nothing at all? The biggest swing variable in the study was about how they dealt with what we'll call cold feet moments. These are the buyers that feels like everything's tracking along well. They love it, everything's going well, you're forecasting it to come in, and then all of a sudden, they start to hem and haw, they start to waver, they start to backtrack, and what we found is that high performers handle these situations quite differently, and how they handle that was the biggest swing variable in the model. If you think about the, your buyers and the types of decisions that they're looking to make, all of us, everyone in sales, has to move a buyer from the left to the right on this page. So we know lots of deals go to die at this moment. Now, what do most of us do in this situation? Most sellers, in fact, in our study, 73% of sellers will go back to that status quo. And they, they start to relitigate, here's all of the reasons why you should change with us. Now, they do this in a couple of different ways, but all of them can be kind of captured by what we we're now going to call a FOMO appeal. All we're doing is we're appealing to that buyer to not miss out on what comes next. The question is, does this work for that buyer who's got cold feet? And when you study this through two and a half million calls, what you find is, in rather dramatic fashion, no, <laughs> it does not work. In fact, not only does it not work, it backfires. 84% of the time, not only does it not work, it makes it worse. You'd be better off doing nothing at all. It turns out, in our study, we found a second reason for why buyers decide to do nothing, and that is indecision specifically due to fear of failure. This was pretty mind-blowing for us because we've, again, all been taught for years, for, for decades, honestly, that the only reason a buyer gets stuck is because they don't believe that they want it. So the status quo is the only reason. It turns out there's a second reason, and it's the bigger one, 56% versus 44%. And as you look at the research, it turns out that error of commission, that actually beats error of omission. Humans care more about being blamed for wrong choices than they do about missing out. That FOMO play, the fear of missing out, while it's important, it gets beat every day of the week and twice on Sunday by FOMU, the fear of messing up. Now, this is a profound insight into buyer psychology, and it upends decades of conventional wisdom. So we need a second playbook. Let's talk about how do we overcome that. That's what Jolt is. So judging the level of indecision, I have to find ways to incorporate and understand their level of indecision, how deep it is, how broad it is. And I need to use this to incorporate how I think about qualifying that opportunity. Offer your recommendation for that buyer who can't make sense of, is it this option or that option, this integration or that integration? At some point, we have to flip from asking them what they want to do to telling them what they should do. Limiting the exploration. So limiting the exploration is, is really important for that buyer who is getting stuck in that analysis paralysis. And then finally, taking risk off the table. I'm 
I like to talk about indecision is it's kind of like the carbon monoxide of sales. Like you can't see it, you can't smell it, can't touch it, but it is deadly. We found that 87% of opportunities had at least moderate or high levels of indecision. And then that red line is win rate. You see the death spiral we get into the further and further we get into that high level of indecision. So we can't avoid it. But we've got to find ways to incorporate this into how we think about our pipeline. After today, I promise you, you're going to go back on the field and everything's going to look like it's right side up. Like you're going to start spotting all sorts of, of situations where indecision is popping up. And we need to be careful then about in those situations running that FOMO play because the fear of messing up is the main thing that those indecisive buyers are getting hung up with. That's it. That's all I got. Thanks, guys.